Okay, this week in Year 6 we've been looking at the uh, equivalence between fractions, decimals and percentages and we've been using the magnetic resources to help us out. So here we've got one hole and we can see that that is the same as 1.0 which is also equivalent to 100% and the children can physically put these one on top of the other to see that. Next we've got a half and the children can see that a half is the same as 0 0.5 which is also equivalent to 50%. The next bit of information they've got to try and remember is that one quarter is equivalent to 0 0.25 and they can see that by matching them up which is also the same as 25%. Now, if children can remember the relationship between a fraction and a decimal, they can find it quite easily. They can find it quite easy to work out the percentage as well. Uh, the next one that they need to try and remember, which is really helpful if they can just have that memorised, is one tenth. Okay, and one tenth is equivalent to zero point one. They match up really nicely, which is the same as ten percent. The extra one that I've got here to show you. Uh, which, if they can memorise it, is helpful. If not, it doesn't matter. Is one fifth? Okay. Now one fifth is is two one tenths, which is the same as zero point two, which is equivalent to twenty percent. So we're going to have a go at using that information to help us solve a problem. And the problem is this one. Let me move out the way a moment. We're trying to match fractions, decimals, and percentages. So, the first one we've got is 0 0.5. And 0 0.5, hopefully using the knowledge that we've retained, is equivalent to 50%. So we can match, draw a line from 0 0.5 to 50%. Next up, we've got 10%. Now the children should remember that 10% is 0 0.1 or 1 tenth, okay, and we can match that up, so then we can draw a line connecting 10% to 1 tenth. Uh, 0 0.2, this is the one that they might find hard to memorise, to remember, uh, but 0 0.2 is the same as 20%, okay, and this is easy using physical apparatus, but this is something they're going to need to remember and memorise ready for the test which leaves us 0 0.25. This is the one that I said they had to try and memorise being equivalent to a quarter. And they can use that knowledge to help them solve this fairly straightforward matching puzzle. Okay. Now this type of puzzle might be presented in a slightly more challenging way. And um, we're going to have a look at this, ne this problem next and see how the, the, the level of challenge increases slightly for this one. Let me bring you a bit closer so you can see. So here we've got to match up. We've got 0 0.25, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 2 tenths, a quarter and 2 fifths. Okay. 3 quarters and 0 0.75 has been matched up already. Remembering that 3 quarters is 0 0.75 is another one that's really, really helpful for the children to try and remember. Hopefully they've retained that knowledge that 0 0.25 is the same as a quarter. Let me put those in sharp. 0 0.25 is the same as a quarter. So what we can do with that is match that one up. So now that just leaves us with two tenths and two fifths. Okay. Now I'm going to find two tenths to begin with and if we put those together we can see that that is equivalent to two 0 0.1s. Now 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 makes 0 0.2. You can actually see that that also fits nicely over the top. So when we've calculated that, we can, we can match up 2 tenths to 0 0.2, which just leaves us with 0 0.4 and 2 fifths. And I can just prove to you that that is 0 0.4, because here are 2 fifths, and over the top of that I can put 2 0 0.2s, 0 0.2, add 0 0.2, 0 0.4. Finally, the problem below that 
is a problem where the children need to order a mixture of fractions and decimal numbers. So we've got 0 0.6, 3 tenths, 0 0.2, 9 tenths. Now to help them out with this one, it's really helpful if the children convert them all to either fractions or decimals. So I'm going to use a different shape card now. I'm going to use these rectangular ones. So the children hopefully can see from this model that one tenth, one th three tenths is equivalent to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So if I change that on the sheet to 0 0.3, I'll write it above it to remind me. And then I can do the same with 9 tenths. So I'm going to make the 9 tenths first of all. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I can see that that is equivalent to 0 0.9. So adding those on, trying to get them the right way up. And now, having built that visual model for the children to see, and having added those on, I'll write that one a little bit neater because it's a little bit hard for you guys to see, I can now order those and I can see that actually 0 0.2 is the smallest, so I'm going to record that as the smallest as it says here, cross that off. 0 0.3 is the next smallest, so I'm going to write that as 3 tenths just to show off my understanding. Then I've got 0 0.6, cross that one off, which means 9 tenths is the largest number in that order there. 